Hi there, this is Yusuf Musavi with Impact Soundworks. In this video, we'll be taking a deep dive into the brand new articulation system for Tokyo scoring strings. This is an evolution of our Total Articulation Control Technology, or TACT. And while it is debuting with this instrument, you can expect to see it show up in future releases too. At the top of the UI, you'll see we have three tabs, Perform, Long, and Shorts. The Perform tab allows you to control things like dynamics, vibrato, and playback mode for the whole instrument. Clicking longs or shorts will take you to the articulation view. As you'd expect, longs will show you all the long sustained articulations. It also has legato and release settings here, since those are directly related to the sustained notes. By default, everything is set to key switches. You'll see those assignments in each articulation button. We'll learn shortly how to customize this for your own workflow. But first, as a refresher, you can click on any articulation to switch to it and begin playing. We'll start simple. Each section in Tokyo Scoring Strings has key switches that default to the very bottom of the MIDI range. They're all identical for consistency's sake. However, if you want to change it, you have complete control. So let's click the Map tab and see how. Here we get more information about the mapping or triggering for the selected articulation. Arco is set to a latching key switch on C-2. Tremolo is on B-2. But what if we want to move these up to, say, right beneath the violin's playable range? Well, just click the drop-down menu labeled C-2 and select a new value, like C2. Next, we'll set tremolo to D2. Now the contact keyboard shows that we've moved those key switches much closer to the playable range of the instrument. We could also go ahead and move harmonics to E2 next, but let's say we also want to trigger harmonics while we are actively holding the key switch. Simple, just turn off latch. As a little side note, you'll notice that once the latch button is deactivated, the harmonics articulation rectangle in the UI here is no longer colored in red, even though it's still selected. For all articulations that are not selectable with the latching key switch, like the bow and slur legato, as well as the release types, TACT won't be able to quick select these, so they'll remain gray even when you click them. If you're wondering why Portamento is constantly highlighted in red, it's because legatos work on a separate key switch latch than the main articulations. Going back to our customization here, if I press C2, the Arco patch will engage. If I press E, harmonics will engage. As soon as I release E2, harmonics are disabled. This is totally a preference thing. Some people prefer to tap a key switch to set it, others prefer to hold it. Use whatever works for you. Let's try a slightly more complex setup. Say we want harmonics to trigger on the same key switch as Arco, but only on soft velocities. First, we'll set harmonics to C2, just like Arco. Next, we'll add a second rule with the Add button. Let's set this to velocities 1 through 19. Next, we'll do the same for Arco, except the velocity rule will be 20 through 127. And that's all. If I play high velocity notes, we get sustains. And as soon as I play softly, we hear delicate harmonics instead. There's other mapping types too. Some libraries, for example, map multiple short articulations to the same key switch and change which one is triggered based on the mod wheel position. Since short notes in Tokyo scoring strings get their volume from velocity, using the mod wheel to select which short technique plays is perfectly okay. Let's set things up so that low mod wheel values are longer short notes, and the highest values are the shorter, crisper notes. I'll select staccato first and set it to E2. Then I'll add a new rule and set it to MIDI CC. The first box is the MIDI CC we want, CC1, which is correct here since 1 is the mod wheel. Then for the range, we'll pick 0 through 39. Next, I'll repeat this process for staccatissimo, spiccato, and spiccato secco. They will all go on the same key switch and the same MIDI CC. The only difference between them will be their CC ranges. Staccatissimo will go on 40 to 80, spiccato will go on 81 to 100, and spiccato secco from 101 to 127. Let's hear how that sounds. Watch the mod wheel carefully as I play.
awesome. With this system, you can create your own custom performance patch in virtually seconds. For example, let's take the default patch and make the release more expressive, based on our velocity. I'll enable release staccato and release decrescendo, so three release types are possible. Decrescendo will go on velocities 1 to 19 for a soft release with a long decay. Release natural will be on 20 to 99, taking up most of the range. And for a more dramatic note end, we'll put release staccato on 100 to 127. Let's hear how that sounds. We could add even more expression to this setup by switching over to the Sound tab. If we look at the options for Arco, we can assign an overlay short note. Let's try Spiccato. Playing high velocities, you'll hear that Spiccato attack on every sustained note now. But since low velocities are triggering that gentle decrescendo release, we can modify attacks the same way. Select Velocity Swell, which will add a gentle crescendo to notes at lower velocities. Keep in mind that we're not doing any dynamics or CC automation here. This is just velocity driven, which is super useful for quick sketching and performance. Play a low velocity note now, and you'll get not only a decrescendo release, but a gentle attack too. Play a high velocity note, and you'll hear a strong entrance with a spiccato overlay, along with a staccato finish. Lastly, let's take a look at tax conflict detection and how it works. If two articulations have a mapping that overlaps, for example, they both share the same key switch, or two articulations that do share the same key switch have an overlapping velocity range, a warning sign will appear. The same is true when some articulations are on key switches, but others are not. In all of these cases, the system won't know whether to prioritize a key switch or a non-key switched articulation, which velocity range should be what, etc. To remedy these issues, make sure the conflicting articulations are on different key switches in at least one of the rules. If they're on the same key switch, giving them separate and distinct velocities, CCs, or other rule types will get rid of the warning sign. It really is worth spending the time here to set up the mapping that works for you. And with this new system, virtually any kind of performance or trigger setup is possible. Once you've found your perfect setup, just resave the NKI so every time you load it, your settings will be ready to go. This has been Yusef Musavi. Thank you for watching, and we hope you'll enjoy Tokyo Scoring Strings.